Can your dog sit or shake hands? I think that's the general goal of most dog owners, but some dogs can take those tricks to an entirely new level. Allison's with some of the clever canines at the Valley Pet Expo. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. That's right. We are at Player's Choice in Appleton for the Valley Pet Expo, which is continuing today. And this is a highlight with the clever canines from Kokana. And uh, we're with Nita Wolf. Good morning. Good morning. Why don't you introduce our, our stars here? This is Pika. She is a red terrier. She was a rescue that I got about two years ago. Aww. And with us this morning is also Ruby. She is a two-year-old black lab. And both of them will be doing agility demos along with a lot of other dogs today. All right. So you have a whole course set up here. Are they pretty used to doing this? They have yeah, most of the dogs that I will be showing today are at a competitive level, so they've been training for a few years already. Okay. How much work does it take to train a dog to do that? It takes a lot of training. You have to be pretty dedicated, mm -hmm. um, but it's a very fun sport to do with your dog because obviously you can see that the dogs love doing yeah. agility. It taps into all their natural instincts of running and jumping and climbing and burrowing. So most dogs, any dog like... <laughs> from a Chihuahua to a Great Dane can enjoy doing agility. And I especially think dogs like labs that need a lot of exercise. It's exactly. A lot of people who come to our agility classes come because their dogs are driving them crazy and they need to burn off some energy. A it's also a good workout it. for the handlers too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like, well, we won't make you do that for too long. <laughs> <laughs> but if people come by today and, I mean, they, uh, you do a lot of classes for obedience. It doesn't. It's not just the agility right. stuff, we right? We do agility, but we also do dog manners classes. Mm -hmm. um, we want dogs to learn to be good social family pets. So right. it's not really formal obedience class. It's more just pet friendly classes. We do puppy classes on to adults. We also do behavioral classes for dogs that have some behavioral issues. Mm -hmm. um, and we have um, other cl fun classes like fun and games, rally obedience, therapy dog work. So cool. All right, thank you so much. And you are so sweet. <laughs> yes, you are. So, again, you can check this out today at Player's Choice. It's $7 um, all day today. They ask that you, if you are having problems with your dog, don't bring your pets here just because there are so many. They don't want it to get crazy. So leave your pets at home, but you can come here and get lots of advice, um, anything you might need for your pet. And we're going to stick around and, and check out what else these pets can do coming up in a little bit. All right, it looks fun. Thanks a lot, Allison. Sure.